This is Bob McFetridge with Beckwith Electric Company and I'd like to welcome you to our introduction of our new series of presentations on integrated volt var control or IVVC. To start with a little definition of integrated volt var control from the Beckwith Electric perspective and that is that we are going to try to coordinate switched capacitor banks with a combination of low tap changing transformers and single phase regulators in order to monitor and regulate the distribution grid voltage and also to look at the power factor while trying to reduce operations on the LTCs and reduce the overall installed cost so the basic theory is that we can use a combination of both voltage regulators and capacitor banks to regulate the voltage. So we're not going to look at the capacitor bank as a power factor correction device, but more as a less expensive voltage regulation device. And the goal is to try to have the capacitor banks do the majority of the regulation so that we can reduce the number of operations on the LTCs which are much more expensive than capacitor banks. The goal is also to try to reduce the need for downline regulators because again a switch capacitor bank is less expensive to both install and long term maintain than single phase line regulators. So that's the general overall view of the presentation and uh, why we at Back With Electric feel that we are in a good position to come up with this presentation is the fact that we have been the leading supplier of LTC controls, regulator controls, and capacitor controls with over 40 years experience in this market. And we like to think that we don't necessarily come up with all the ideas or features in the products. We let our end customers do that. So we like to say that our products are defined by our customers, but refined by Beckwith Electric. And we are in a unique position in that we have so many different electrical utility customers that we get to see how different customers with different sizes, different operating conditions, and different problems go about solving these problems in completely different ways. So with that in mind, we're going to look at several different approaches to IBBC from the standpoint that none of them are right, none of them are wrong, they are all different, and depending on where you are with your current assets and the direction you want to go, some architectures may be better than others. But we like to think of Beckwith Electric that we listen to the customers and then we take action. So as we go through these presentations and we get into some of the actual problems and the features that we have implemented, we'll try to discuss why the customer needed that particular feature the way we implemented it. So over the next several uh, sessions, we'll be covering different topics starting with session one which is the one to follow this and that is how do we justify IVBC so what is the business case or what are the economic drivers for implementing this and again this will be differing depending on the type of utility a electric cooperative may have completely different drivers than a investor owned utility that has both generation transmission and distribution so we're going to try to cover uncover these different economic drivers to help you uh, kind of get a grasp on what you're trying to achieve. Number two is why IVVC is required. So a little bit more detailed explanation of the problems we are attempting to solve. Session three will then start the actual solutions. What are the field components required to have a successful IVBC system? And in this session, we'll talk about LTC tap changers. We'll talk about single phase regulators, switch capacitor banks, fixed capacitor banks. Session four starts to get into the differing architectures. 
Many utilities are putting in centralized communication systems and uh, very extensive SCADA masters to run VoltVar algorithms across the entire system. Other utilities are going exactly in the opposite direction and trying to do it with no communications at all. And still other utilities are somewhere in the middle where the communications may be more of a decentralized architecture. So we'll explain each of the different architectures and what we perceive as their advantages and disadvantages. Session 5 will be a quick overview of the SCADA heartbeat or the IVVC heartbeat, which is required if you're going to have communications as a core component of your IVVC system. Session 6 will talk about coordination without communications. So if our architecture is going to be implemented without any communications, how can we coordinate all the differing equipment in order to gain the uh, best results possible? Then in session seven, we will follow that up with how do we change the coordination if we are going to use communications? Session eight, we start getting specifics with the controls that are going to be controlling the LTCs and the single phase regulators. And in session nine, we'll talk about capacitor controls. Session 10 will deal with some other new emerging technologies such as reclosers and auto restoration or reconfiguration of your distribution system along with distributed generation and how these two new uh, technologies can impact what we're trying to do on the IVVC side of the house. Session 11 will do with cybersecurity, especially if we're going to go with a communications-based architecture. How can we make sure that it will be a secure system? And then session 12 and 13 will go into implementing an IBBC system, starting with how you can do a pilot and, and make it successful. And then finally in session 13, we'll wrap up with how to implement a full-scale architecture and system. So I hope you enjoy these different sessions. We will be having a web portal where you can submit questions as you read through each of these or listen to each of these sessions. And if you have questions, you can submit them to Back With Electric via the website. And either myself or one of our other engineers will try to respond within 24 hours to your question. We'll also leave a little area for feedback where you can either suggest new topics or if you think there's an inaccuracy and you want to make a point it to our attention, we'd be more than happy to listen to that. So hopefully you'll enjoy these sessions and we appreciate your time as always at Beckwith Electric Company. Thank you and have a blessed day.